What's up everybody, Mr. Martin here to walk you through the next portion of our train project. And this is gonna be two parts. We're gonna make the linkage arm and linkage peg all in one video, all in about five minutes. So let's get started with our first sketch, which is gonna be on the right side view, um, just because I feel like it. So we have the right side view and we're going to make two circles that are going to be centered on the horizontal axis and they're going to be 0.375 inch diameter circles. So do the one there, another heat there. Both circles are the same distance and these circles are going to be dimensioned from their center point to the origin a distance of 1.75 inches. There we go, got two circles. Right size, right distance from the center. And now we're gonna draw a center point rectangle centered at the origin. So to do that, we've mostly been using a corner rectangle. So you have to click down the carrot and choose center point rectangle. That'll allow you to click where you want the center to be and then go out from there. So we're going to make a rectangle about that big. Uh, we'll dimension it to be a width of 3.5 inches and a height of 0.25 inches. And then we're going to trim off pretty much anything inside of the circles. So we use the trim tool. We'll trim here, 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 here. And we'll trim likewise there, there, here, and here. And we can trim those pieces as well. And then we are going to now put two small circles in the center. So centered at the same center point as our last circles. These are going to have a diameter of 0.128 inches. And that's it for our sketch. Uh, so let's finish the sketch. Go back to an appropriate view. And we're going to extrude. We're going to extrude everything except for these interiors of the small circles. So because those are going to be holes. And this is going to be a depth of 0.125 inches. And this is our linkage arm. So that's going to attach our two wheels together. So we'll finish the extrude and then change our material as always to PLA. If we are going to, if we were able to print this, if we were in a different world and we were able to print this, or maybe you're listening to this not in the end of the 2019-2020 school year. Um, right now, we can't print anything because we're not at school. And so we're here. Pull up your mass properties. Our mass is 0 0.006 pounds. Our volume is 0.123 cubic inches. So that looks good to me. Let's move on to the linkage peg. It's a tough one. So we're gonna make a sketch, front view, go to the front view itself. We're going to draw some lines like we have been for anything that is relatively round. And this is gonna be a height of 0.325 inches. So we'll have to zoom in a bunch. A, this is gonna be really small. So it has a width of 0 0.031 inches. And this is gonna have a height of 0.25 inches and we're going to just bring this line out an indeterminate distance so it doesn't matter how long that line is we're going to end up trimming it anyways uh, so then we're going to use a center point circle we're going to click here and we're going to click the top of the circle and then we're going to type in a diameter of 0.312 inches. So that gives us this circle. And we're going to now trim off a bunch. So we're going to trim off here and then we're going to get this shape. So I'll show you. I'll just do it for you. And then you can follow along at home. So there is our shape that we want. So we're going to finish our sketch. Zoom in a bunch because it's super tiny. We're going to revolve this face around this axis. Finish the revolve. Right click the part. Assign the material. Uh, 
and pull up the mass properties. This is tiny, has a volume of 0 0.003 cubic inches and a very, very small mass. I mean, it's, it's just really, really small. So uh, this is a part that will put our hitch, or sorry, our linkages, we're gonna push that into the linkage arm, uh, basically. So here we go, about five and a half minutes to get both of these done for me, shouldn't take you much longer. If you have any questions, make sure you drop me a line. Our last part video will be the cow catcher that goes on the front of the train. So you can look for that later this week. Hopefully you guys are doing well and I look forward to hearing from you soon.